Hello, I'm Brandon Mooney, and welcome to this post-mortem video for my DES312 project, Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler is a third-person action game prototype centred around playing as the character Nightcrawler from the X-Men franchise. More specifically, it is inspired by the cinematic masterpiece X-Men 2, in which Nightcrawler attempts to break into the White House and kill the President of the United States. Nightcrawler, as a character, is mostly known for his mutant ability to teleport, and that is the main mechanic I wanted to explore with this prototype, especially how this mechanic could be implemented into the context of a third-person game. In this prototype, the player must navigate throughout the White House, dodging enemy attacks and attacking enemies in turn, making use of Nightcrawler's teleportation powers to gain the upper hand on the various guards littered around the complex. Eventually, the player will reach the president, indicated by his perfectly normal-sized hat, and kill him to end the game. The prototype was tested in various ways, from playtest sessions and user surveys to directly measuring player metrics through analytics. Metrics were recorded throughout gameplay and are sent off via Aberty Analytics and the larger Unity Analytics system on the end of a particular run-through of the game, a run being defined either as the player dying or through killing the president and therefore winning the game. Some examples of metrics measured include game time on the end of a run, enemies killed, damage taken, cause and location of death if there was one, and the number of teleports the player makes. Using these analytics, alongside the aforementioned playtesting and user surveys, allowed me to greatly improve the prototype throughout development. I was able to determine difficult or easy areas and aspects of the game, balancing accordingly, make note of frustrating game elements or mechanics, like the initial clunky combat and camera, notice bugs and unintended features, like entering hyperspace when teleporting into a certain president, and finally fine-tuning the teleporting mechanic till it it was at a point that I and the playtesters were happy with. This testing invaluably led to what I consider to be a successful prototype of the teleport mechanic. While admittedly I am biased, I believe it is a fun and intuitive feature that works well in tandem with combat and movement. While the combat is extremely simple, which somewhat limits how much the success of the mechanic could reasonably be gauged, I believe that even in its basic state, it shows how effective the combination of teleportation and third-person combat can be. It's also been a great learning experience. I feel more confident in my abilities as a C-sharp programmer, and specifically as a gameplay programmer, programming gameplay elements such as movement and combat, such that they are engaging and satisfying. However, simply due to a lack of time, there was a lot that could have been implemented, and that I wanted to implement, that simply could never be. As mentioned before, a more fleshed out combat system would have been excellent, with various moves and attacks the player could take advantage of. Additionally, more in-depth enemy behaviour, with movement and refined line of sight mechanics, could lend itself to stealth gameplay, which is an interesting avenue of gameplay that the current prototype simply cannot account for. Overall, I'm extremely happy with this prototype, and would gladly continue working on it. I believe that this game concept, given enough scale and budget, could be very successful if properly developed and released. Plus, you'll be able to cash in on that sweet Marvel money, which is always good.